Have some trouble, miss? No, it's, um, it's nothing, really. Um, I'm gonna be on my way, uh, uh right now, actually. Doesn't sound like nothing. Let me take a look. Uh, no, you really don't. Thing, miss. Just trying to be a good Samaritan. Why don't you pop the hood? See what I can do. Nice day. considering how in the world she would get out. Down, down, down. Would the fall ever come to an end? <sighs> and here Alice began to get rather sleepy and went on saying to herself in a dreamy sort of way, down, down, down. Thump, thump, down she came upon a heap of sticks and dry leaves, and the fall was over.
Need some help, ma'am? I don't know much about cars. That's never given me trouble until now. Well, why don't you hop in? I'll give you a ride. I live in a town about five miles up here. Take you to the mechanic, hook you up with a tow. Well, I don't really know if I want to leave my car. Okay, just stay out here. I'll buy your lonesome and see how that goes. Come on, hop in. I'll give you a ride. Victor, by the way. Abigail. So, are you going to the hunt tonight? It's become quite the legacy around here. Uh, no. All right, well, here is the Atlantis Inn. Shouldn't be too difficult to get a room. I'm not staying the night. Look, Abigail, things kind of move at a little bit of a different pace around here, so just keep that in mind, okay? Well, welcome to downtown Ocean City. Right here's the diner. That's where you can find me. Um, if you need any toiletries, they're over here at the uh, pharmacy. And uh, the events could be held at the factory tonight, so. Ocean City? Yeah, I know. We're nowhere near an ocean, but uh, we call it wishful thinking. You're gonna like it here. And here we are. Thanks for the ride. Sure, it was a pleasure. Look, maybe I'll see you at the hunt tonight? Or uh, stop by the diner and I'll make you something to eat. Need a tow? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Deep breaths. What are you doing in here? Well, it's a bathroom, so... What's in the bag? Um, my wallet, tissues... What are you doing here? My car, uh, the engine. I, I was looking for someone... Okay, okay, look. I just can't be too careful seeing somebody I don't know, out of towner like yourself. Sorry, I uh, was just looking for someone to help me get my car towed. Where'd it break down? Um... On State Road 15, about five miles. Come back in a few hours. I'll get it taken care of. 
Tonight, it should be a relatively quiet weekend for you. Let's hope so. Oh, a new face. Oh, it's refreshing. First time in Ocean City? Oh, who am I kidding? Of course it is. We don't get many visitors these days. I'm just passing through. Oh, well, you picked a heck of a day for that. Tonight is the hunt. The hunt, yes. I've heard. I don't think I'll be going. What, why did you do that? It's what we do here, guest pictures, like our own version of a guest book. <laughs> You're gonna like it here. You know, see. So I've been told. Oh, we don't get many strangers. Perks being the only person on staff, I want to get to meet all the people, make all new friends. <laughs> Miss, are you okay? I can... One room. Oh, of course. Uh, how many nights? One. Great. I'll just need a credit card to put on file. We're not planning on booking up. You're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Miss? You'll be in room 201. It's around the banister and top the stairs. I practically live here, so if you need anything, you know where to find me. Got David. It's me. Hey, how's we get in to wonder if everything was all right? You missed our early afternoon call. I wasn't near a phone. It's been one of those days. I had an attack and I'm out of pills. I knew I should have refilled before. Slow down. Slow down. Have you been practicing the breathing? Yes, I've been practicing the breathing. That's not the problem. I'm hearing things and I think I'm hallucinating, David. I dreamed I hit some woman on a back road, and and now I'm stuck in this bumfuck town, and I just want to go home. And you know, if you hadn't forced me to leave early, then I... Nobody forced you to do anything, Abigail. In light of the circumstances, you need these extra few days. Time to clear your head. Next week's going to be a tough one. Where'd you end up going? My car broke down. I'm in Ocean City, waiting for it to be fixed. Is that, is that up by Black Creek? Maybe, sure, I really don't know. This wasn't part of the plan. I was supposed to reach your hometown tonight, relax up there, you know? Well, you're definitely out of your element, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Not a bad thing? This is Deep, I deep breaths. Deep breaths. <sighs> Listen, can you send a prescription over to the pharmacy here, please? I need it. Only if you breathe. You'll get through this, Abigail. Okay. I promise I'll do the breathing. Let's talk soon. Be safe.
who you knock before entering. This is a shared bathroom. By the way, what was that noise you were making? You sounded like a vacuum cleaner. Sorry. It was deep breathing. My psychiatrist asks me to do it. Do all the stores close this early? Not always, but tonight's special. Are you going to the hunt? No, I... What? Have I told you girls about talking to strangers? Out. And shame on you. Well, I just... I just asked her a question. Get it up and running. Oh. Um. Sorry about her earlier. I. It was. It was nothing personal. I just. It's gonna take a few days. I took a look at your car before I towed it. You need a few parts. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you. Parts we don't have. Well, what's a few days? I really need to leave tomorrow. I have somewhere important to be. Well. Really, it's. Nothing personal. I'll order the parts. Probably get here by Monday. Monday's a long time for something. You know, I was just trying to be kind. I saw a pretty chick. Damsel in distress, if you will. I just wanted to help. It was very sweet of... But you had other ideas in that head of yours. Fix your car. Find you when we're finished. There's only so many places you can hide in this town. I'm really glad you decided to come. It's gonna be a blast! Are you sure you don't uh, want the mask that I left in my car? Uh, what is this place? I was an old manufacturing factory. Shut down years ago. That's when everybody left. And the hunt? Uh, what have I gotten myself into? Come on, Abigail! It's Abigail, right? Yeah. I don't remember giving you my name. You didn't. You'll learn pretty quickly I know all about everything and everybody in this town. Well, I'm glad you could make it. Nothing quite compares with the tradition of the hunt. Oh, I hear your car got towed to the shop. That's a step in the right direction. Sheriff Lee, I've been looking for you. Excuse me, Abigail. I just wanted to say, I know this weekend is tough for you, but my family is keeping you in our thoughts. I really appreciate that. How long has it been since your wife... Could you excuse me, please? Who it is? In the flesh. You got your outfit. Uh, yeah, I uh, I didn't realize I would be the only one without one. Uh, well, let's here. Now, if you're not the only one, 
You want to get a drink at the bar? Um, yeah. Uh, I actually think I'm going to head out soon. Come on, hunt hasn't even started yet. Ladies and gentlemen! Welcome to the 14th annual Ocean City Hunt. I'm very excited this year because we are going to be hunting for Neptune's trident. But remember, this is a team event, so make sure to grab your mate. Go! So, um, what exactly is the hunt, Victor? <laughs> it's something we do every year. We search for an oceanic-themed item. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely leaving now. No, no, come on. I don't have a partner. I need you. Please? Fine. Plus, I came prepared. Not my first time. So, uh, how are you liking Ocean City? Must I answer that? No. But I am curious, I mean, what brings you this direction? Where were you going? I don't want to talk about that. Victor? Victor! This isn't funny. Abigail? Abigail? Uh, that wasn't funny, Victor. I don't appreciate you leaving me. I didn't leave you. You ran off. I've been here the whole time. Are you okay? I'm fine. Um, can I ask you a question? What happened to the sheriff's wife? What? You heard me. The sheriff's wife. She disappeared like four years ago. I don't, it's kind of a sore subject around here. Let's leave that one alone. Oh, someone else found the trident again. You ready to go? The sea was wet as wet could be. The sands were dry as dry. We could not see a cloud because no cloud was in the sky. No birds were flying overhead. There were no birds to fly. In a wonderland they lie. 
Dreaming as the days go by. Dreaming as the summer die. That isn't funny. What do you want? Ceremonies. Why are the lights out? You're very to the point. <laughs> I like that about you. The building's old. I guess you could say it has a life of its own. The lights flick on and off. <laughs> I just checked the generator. It should be up and running any... Ah! <laughs> any second now. Would you look at that? I'm going back to bed. Well, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> uh, just kidding. We don't have bed bugs here. Hello? Who is this? It's freezing. Please help. Look, I don't have time for... Well, well, well. Look who decided to try my cooking. It's 
not like I had any choice. You're the only joint in town. That's true. But I hear that the pharmacy has a mean chocolate chip ice cream. Ice cream for breakfast. Uh, well, I was gonna head there anyway, so. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm bluffing, please. Here, take a seat, Mills in the house. Uh, I don't generally like people watching me eat. You don't generally like a lot of things, do you? There's a man staying at the hotel. He's really tall and pale. I saw him at the hunt last night. A tall, pale man. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> Sorry. He just gives me the skeevies. <laughs> skeevies? Oh no. He made all this noise last night, trying to get my attention. Asked me to follow him. It was like he was trying to tell me something. Sounds crazy, I know. <laughs> so, how's the car? Not exactly sure why I'm asking that. I know that nothing around here gets fixed. Quickly, yeah. Looks like I'm gonna be here for a few days. A few days? Waiting for parts to arrive. Well, if that's the case, then uh, we should go out tonight. What? Yeah. Th that wasn't... Uh, Come on. You and me. Tonight. Uh, um... Look, I promise not to drag you around any abandoned villains or anything, okay? Plus, you have absolutely nothing better to do in this town. I don't? And maybe you owe me? A little bit? Maybe? For the car ride? Uh, I kind of feel like you owe me for last night. <laughs> well... Let me make it up to you then. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. Um, all right. I will uh, let you eat and I will uh, call you about it later to set it up. can't keep doing this. I told you last year, this is not going to become a tradition. You aren't welcome here. I'm not hurting anyone. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. came off in my bag. It spilled all over. Oh, God! Rule number one, always check the caps twice. Oh, jeez. Wait, I didn't mean to scare you. Don't go. Um, I'm just gonna go wash my hands. Stay there. I, I didn't catch your name. Abigail. Violet Porter. Oh, come on, don't be shy. What are you doing in Ocean City, Abigail? Visiting. Huh. Strange place to visit. 
I could say the same about you. And I would tell you that I'm from here. Born and raised in the town that wishes it were on a coast. I'm back here to do some painting, if you haven't figured that out. I've got some matters to attend to, but I'm gonna be painting outside tomorrow. You should join me. You'll still be in town? Unfortunately. All right, see you then. Hello? Boss likes me to scrub the tubs over and over. Gotta make them sprick and span. <laughs> you have got to stop popping up everywhere I go. <sighs> hey, why don't you try some of that obnoxious breathing? This is David Dickinson, with whom am I speaking? Save me. Ah, my favorite client. How's speech? I don't know how anybody could live here. It can't be that bad. Make the best of the situation. It's all you can do. It's one of those towns, David. You know, where the only way that they can get people to stop by is putting up signs on the interstate promising ATMs. Or large bathrooms. Money and crap. They make the world go round. I think I'm losing it, David. I keep seeing this man. That's fantastic. Glad to hear you're dating someone again. What's he do? No, not like seeing a man. I, I don't know if he's real. I'm telling you, David, I, I, I think I'm hallucinating. Uh, it's probably just all the stress you got in your life right now. You taking your pills? Yes. Keep at it. You'll make it through this. Remember where you were just last week. Listen, whoever you are, stop. Don't call again. Well, hello to you too. It's, uh, Victor. Oh. Uh, I thought you were someone else. No, it's Victor. Um, just Victor. I'm calling about tonight. You are quite the cook. Thanks. It's, uh, it's always been a passion. No, I mean, you're really good. Well, it was really nice to have some help in the kitchen this time. Have you thought about going somewhere else to pursue this? Uh, thought about it. Um, I don't know. If the right situation arose, I guess I'd look into it. <sighs> I'd really like to own my own place. Be my own boss. Well, the talent is there. So what about you? What are you doing here, Abigail? Um, I guess you could say I'm on leave. Boss mandated leave. 
I'm an assistant professor at a literature department down south. Oh, so your book knowledge far surpasses mine. It's possible. <laughs> Boss mandated leave? What's that all about? My mother recently passed away. Abigail, I'm, I'm so sorry I didn't. You know when my dad passed away? I just, I spend as much time with my mom as I can. Were you too close? She was my best friend. Her funeral is next week. Uh, that's that's where I'm traveling to. <laughs> if my damn car ever gets fixed. <laughs> it gets better. Having a little party in here? Just finishing up dinner. Abigail, trespassing is a serious offense. I am not trespassing. I'm here with Victor. Hello? <laughs> Why don't you and I go down to the station and have ourselves a little chat? No. Victor will be right back. Hello? Who is this? I don't know who you think you're fooling. And I hate to say it, but from what I could tell, you were about to get into the register. I was getting a napkin. You are clearly delusional. Come on, little miss, hands behind your back. No! Hands behind no, your back. No, let me go! Let go of me! No! Uh, let go of me! Sheriff Lee? What's going on in here? Abigail, are you okay? I just caught he her trying to He thinks that I broke in and was stealing from the register. She's here with me. Well, my mistake. My deepest apologies. Kitchen's closed for the night? Yeah, afraid so. Even to a regular. I was just coming by to get... Sheriff, I'd be happy to cook your meal any time. Not tonight. You two enjoy yourselves. The whole family's a little off. There's more of them? Well, yeah. Ice cream? Sure. I know you know Jimmy. Town mechanic? He's Kurt's boy. You know, 
I try to be patient with the two of them in light of what happened, but. <sighs> Brain freeze? No. Abigail? You okay? I, I'm so cold. I wasn't gonna say anything, but. I, I have to go back. I'm not feeling well. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Here you go, Abigail. <coughs> this should keep you nice and warm and snug. Of course, if you need anything, I'll be in the other room. But it seems like you're in the hands of a strong, capable, handsome. I'm fine. I think I'm okay, actually. Let's just try and get some rest. Well, I'm glad you could pencil me into your busy schedule. <coughs> wow, you really could use some sun. You said you're from Ocean City? Born and raised. You know the Lees? I heard you talking with Kurt the other day. Let's talk. Oh, this is a better time to be here. The green, the flowers, all this life. It is nice to take long walks together, venturing through the countryside. What do you know? I know she was Kurt's wife. I know she went missing. Is that what they're calling it? Tess was a close friend from childhood. She was the kind of person that I had to keep in touch with even when I moved to the city. I come back here this time every year in honor of her disappearance. Do you think she was murdered? Well, I really can't say. That's a tough one. But there's one thing that I've learned at my age, and that is that nothing ever is as it seems. Tess was a volunteer nurse. She was a social butterfly. She cared about everybody. She wouldn't hurt us so. What are you after? I have this connection with Tess. I can feel it. 
you miss her? You let me know if you find anything out, okay? Of course. You said Tess was a volunteer? At a hospital? No, at, um, the old folks' home. Right down the street. your favorite mom? I saw her. Are you hungry? It's, it's chocolate pudding. I saw her again, this time in the hallway. Uh, we've been through this before. You remember what the doctor said? No. information on Tess Lee. That's a little out of the blue. Did you know her, Victor? Yeah, but, I mean, not personally. I mean, she worked here. You obviously figured that out. But I told you she's kind of a sore subject in this town. Why? Because people, people don't just disappear here, okay? And this is not the weekend to be doing this. Why? the weekend of the hunt, all right? Can we please just talk about this later? Yeah, bye. Jimmy? Parts aren't here. Won't be for another few days. That's no way to speak to a customer. I need my car fixed. Now. Feel free to fill out a complaint form in the office. I take them real serious. I wanted to ask you about your mother. She went missing four years ago. This weekend, exactly, if I heard that right? Don't poke the bear, miss. Her name was Tess? Tess Lee? Don't you say her name, you pasty little bitch. It's curiosity more than. It's hard to imagine the wife of a sheriff going missing, unless. Unless I what? Now, I don't know what you think you're insinuating. Ooh, big word. But you just keep out of it. You walk in here, prance around like you own the place. Well, you don't know the half of it, so fuck off. Fix my car. Until then, we'll see what I dig up.
You know, this isn't exactly what I had in mind for a date. I needed your help. And I told you, this is a sensitive subject here. And it's completely irrelevant, mind I am. Your car is going to be fixed soon, and then you can go. Why spend your last couple of days playing detective? And what are those? They're, um, they're supposed to help with anxiety. Am I making you anxious? of the Atlantis Inn, right here in Ocean City. Yeah, it also says there was no foul play suspected and that Richard Collins, in fact, died of a stroke. The two are not related. You don't find it strange that a man died the same weekend Tess was missing? No. I, I don't know how, but... <sighs> the man that I keep seeing has to be connected. Talk to this guy. The pale man? Um, I don't think that's gonna be possible. Why not? Um, hey, let's get out of here, okay? What? Yeah, let's just go. Why? Howdy, pretty boy. Hey, Reese. I didn't know you were working here. Hmm. Well, uh, will you guys enjoy your night? Uh, you, you can go when I say you can go. Lighten up, you just got here. We're having a party, boys. Come on. <clears throat> oh, pretty little thing. Well, Jimmy said you got yourself a girlfriend. Must feel good to put some hair on that sack of yours. And you, dating the fry cook. You know, I think your food may be the best thing since that drive through opened up a town over. Personally, I'd rather starve to death than die of food poisoning. Victor! Let's go with me! Let me go! Wrong move, fella. But exactly what I was looking for. Whoa. Reese. Okay. That was my mistake. All right? She has nothing to do with this. You oh, she, she's got nothing to do with this? She's done more than she could even realize. Hey, I got an idea. You and me, winner takes the broad. Kick his ass. Stop it! Stop! Let us go! Let us go! Now, are you? 
way. That's enough. Get out of here. Oh, are you okay? Want me to take you to the hospital? No, I'll be all right. Well, boys will be boys, huh? You're going after them, right? Yeah, I know where they live. They'll get reprimanded. You better go get that cleaned up. Colder. You've got to do something. No, it's okay. No, it's not. Look. <sighs> All I care about is that you're safe. Victor. What? I'm sorry, I... My mind is elsewhere. I can't stop thinking about the... The what? The pale man? Tess Lee? I just got my ass beat for you, Abigail. For me? Yeah, look at me. Okay, I told you to leave it alone. You couldn't do it. I can't. I, I can't explain it. I, I'm I'm drawn to this. I I have to figure it out. Now I know where your priorities lie. Have fun with your adventures, Nancy Drew. isn't possible. There's a man staying here. He keeps changing rooms. Are you okay, Abigail? There isn't anyone else here. He isn't real. Ha <laughs> ha 
Hello? Hey. <coughs> Is everything okay? I didn't hear from you today. I'm fine. It, it's nothing to worry about. Okay. Um, could those new pills that you prescribed me, do they have any side effects? Could they give me any weird symptoms? No. No, they're just made to mellow you out, just to relax you. You're only taking two a day. Right? Give or take. Time is running out. I have to go, David. I was just in, inspecting this counter. Okay, I was asleep. Do you need something? Who is that? To sleep? That's what I thought. Thanks.
Well, they, they aren't certain until they do the autopsy, but Sheriff Lee told me that the paramedics think it was a stroke. A stroke? Excuse me. Uh, do you really want to continue staying here in light of everything? I mean, I, I'm sure I could find you another place. Yes. I want to stay. Okay. Dearest Violet, I've done something terrible, and I need your advice. Something I thought I'd never Love do. You, as always, Tess Lee. Did you kill Violet? Who are you? I saw a picture of you and Tess Lee. Did you kill her? Richard Collins. Please, just talk to me. Did you move me into my room? What can I do to help?
It's me. I need your help. Well, long story short, I was coming downstairs and I was bringing a guest a blanket and he was there and I wasn't expecting that and we kind of had a little moment where we locked eyes. It was, it was very exciting. I, I kind of feel like there was some sort of like energy exchange. Yeah, and I don't really know what to make of it. Um, I'm hoping that he kind of comes by again and maybe we can see where we go. <coughs> oh, you're, you're awake. <coughs> I want you to hold on to these for me, just in case. In case what? I'm trusting you with this. What's going on? I'll see you later? Hopefully. I want to get a closer look. No, Abigail. He's home. I have to know. Abigail. This is it, Victor. There are bull cutters in the barn. Go get them.
Where are you going? Hey, honey. Nowhere. <laughs> it, it's laundry night. Figured after running around the factory. Clean sheets. Clean shirts. Your favorite. It's him. You're leaving me for him. Who? Richard Collins. That's his name, right? Your lover? It's a small town, Tess. You can't keep a secret like that from me. I didn't mean for it to happen like this. I... You've been distant. <laughs> I saw you two at the hunt. I thought it was just a one-time thing, but then, then I started thinking. Mm. All those late-night book clubs. They need to go to faraway groceries. Kurt, you were never home. Oh, it's my fault. Do you love me? You've cared more about your work than me for years. You son of a bitch. <sighs> Please, spare him. Stop talking! Stop! She should have stopped. I never intended to kill her. But you did. You shouldn't have come here. Okay, we'll leave and go right now. We won't tell anyone, I swear. <laughs> yeah, right. You've been watching too many movies. <laughs> Don't the good guys usually live? Shut the fuck up. I knew there was something about you, Abigail. Snooping around. Sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong. You know the drill. Tie her up. Looks like I'm not the only one dying tonight, huh? Shut up! Put the gun down. Jimmy? Oh, oh thank God. Put the gun down. <coughs> Jimmy, you don't understand. Look in the freezer. <coughs> I promise before you make any decisions. Please. Yeah. Move back. <coughs> Now, Jimmy! Don't listen to them. Telling me she was missing. Said she'd come back any day. 
Son, let me explain. <laughs> You really should head home. You've been here for days. We'll call you if anything changes. No, no, I don't... I don't want to leave her side. Are there any updates? We haven't seen anything like this before. The good news is that she's stable. Please, go get yourself some food. She'll be here when you get back. Those of you just now tuning in, we've been keeping listeners up to date with a developing story out of Ocean City, a truly bizarre double homicide. According to state trooper reports, the town sheriff allegedly killed his wife, stuffed her in the family freezer. The investigation is ongoing, but for now, it seems there were no other witnesses. I'm sorry, but there have been some complications. This really isn't a good time. No, you don't understand. I need to see her, okay? I didn't think that you were... Everything's okay now. I'm fine, really. It's a miracle. We could call it that. <laughs> I, uh, I brought your stuff. And there's a bedside phone in case you need making phone calls. I'm sure there's plenty of people waiting to hear from you. Do you have my pills? Yeah. Flush them down the toilet. Really? Hello? We have a David Dickinson for you. Shall I transfer him through? Read to me? Yeah, uh. Alice? Start from where you left off. <clears throat> Have I gone mad? He asked. I'm afraid so. You're entirely bonkers, replied Alice. But I'll tell you a little secret. All the best people are. Wake up, Alice, dear. Why, what a long sleep you've had. So Alice got up and ran off, thinking while she ran, as well she might, what a wonderful dream it had been. 